Welcome back. It's Zion from Yukon Demand, where we bring you fingerstyle song lessons and tabs. So this tutorial was requested by one of our members at Yukon Demand, and we're going to go over the first part of the song lesson in this video, but you can get the rest of the tutorial and all the tabs over at yukondemand.com. So let's get started. To begin, we're going to start out with the index finger on the first fret of the C and the middle finger on the second fret of the E. And we're not actually going to strum this shape. We're putting it down because if you look ahead at the notes we're about to hit, we're going to hit the second fret of the E very soon along with the first fret of the C. And so if, by looking ahead, this is helpful for any song, by looking ahead you can see what finger position you can get into ahead of time so that when the time comes to actually pick those strings or those frets, there's no work. You're already in that position that you need to be in. So because we're in this position, we barely have to move our fingers at all. Many times I'll have students who will kind of play the note as soon as they get to it. So for example, they would pick in this for this song, they would pick the open A, put their finger down for the second fret of the E and then take it off and put their index finger down for the little two string pick. But if really, if you can put as many fingers as you can in advance, you save yourself a lot of extra work and a lot of, and a, you reduce the chance of accidentally messing up because the more you take your fingers off and put them back on, the higher chance you accidentally have of putting them on the wrong fret. So getting straight into the song now, going to pick the A string, immediately followed by 2nd fret E, which we've already got in position. From here, since your index finger is already where it needs to be, just lift off the middle finger. You're going to pick 1st fret of C and open E together. And then open E. From here, you're going to slide that index finger to the 2nd fret of the C string and add your middle finger right next to it. So you're going to be picking 2nd fret of C and E together. Now we're going to go into an A chord. So you're just going to slide that index finger back to the 1st fret and bring your middle finger to the 2nd fret of the G. And you're going to pick the open A string first strum down and come back up pick that a so that little section so far now we're going to go into the part of the song which starts to go up over to the higher frets of the fretboard so we're going to make a barred g chord shape, but you're going to start it at the 4th fret, so now it's actually an A chord. And we're going to completely ignore the G string right now, we're not going to touch it at all. You're going to be barring the 4th fret of the A string, the E string, and the C string. Add middle finger to the 5th fret of the E, and just don't pick the G string at all, or else it will completely throw off the chord. So you're just going to strum, or pick the 4th fret of A, Pinky the 7th fret. Just like at the beginning, we made this position ahead of time because we knew we are going to immediately slide down into this next chord, a D chord, and it's going to be 9, 10, 9. So that way, we can, we're already in position, we just slide the whole shape up. Pick the ninth fret of the A. Your finger's already there and strum those three strings again. So putting that little piece together. And then from here, you're going to slide all the way back down to the fourth fret, even though that we're trying to hit the seventh fret because we're gonna use that with, with our pinky. And the reason why we come down with our pinky is that if you look ahead some more, we're eventually going to need to strum 4-5-4. Four, four. So we might as well get into that position already 
instead of having to sort of bounce our way down. So from the ninth fret, slide all of this shape all the way so it's starting at the fourth and put the pinky back on, pick the seventh fret, then lift off, strum four, five, four, and pinky back on. So that everything we've learned so far from here we're going to again lift the pinky off just pick the fourth fret of the A pinky back to the seventh and slide the shape all the way back up to the ninth, starting at the ninth fret, so 9, 10, 9. And then from here, we're going to go into a C sharp minor. So you're gonna be barring the fourth fret with your ring finger on the sixth fret of the G and pinky on the seventh fret of the A. And so the middle finger is not actually touching the fretboard. It might look like it, but it's just kind of hovering above right now. And then lift the pinky off, pick the fourth fret of the A string. So now that your bar finger is taking care of it, And then you're going to slide down into this position. It's almost a full F sharp minor, but since we're ignoring the G string right now, just to keep it simple, we're just going to put our index finger on the first fret of the C, second, middle finger on the second fret of the E, ring on the second fret of the A, and we're going to do a little pull off. You're going to strum those bottom three strings and pull off to open A. So that last little section. And then the little outro for this piece, you're going, you've just pulled off. You're going to add the index or ring finger back on to second, pinky to fourth. Slide into another um, not another C sharp minor, but instead you're going to go into a B minor. So you might be more familiar with B minor as buying the second fret and ring finger on the fourth fret of the G. But for this B minor, you're also going to add your pinky to the fifth fret of the A. You're going to strum down. Going to slide pivot just a little bit so your finger can hit that fourth fret of the A and go into a normal B minor, so you can just take off the pinky. Pick open A. Then pick op or second fret of C and E together. And back to open A. So that little section, one more time. And from the beginning. And that's how to play Wild Mountain Time on the ukulele. To get the entire tutorial and all the tabs, head over to ukeondemand.com and subscribe below so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming fingerstyle tutorials. We'll see you next time.